Hello and welcome to another video from the events calendar. My name is James and in this video we are going to be talking about our virtual events plugin and how you can use it to add a WebEx meeting to your events. There's actually two different ways to add a WebEx meeting to your event. We're going to go over both of them in this video. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so to get started with this, you will need our events calendar plugin to be installed and activated on your WordPress website, as well as our virtual events add on. You can find that by going to the eventscounter.com under the products tab, virtual events. Once you have both those plugins downloaded and installed, you can go ahead and get started. You will also need a free WebEx account, of course, for this to work. Um, but before we get started, we do need to connect our WebEx account to our WordPress website, and we can do that by going to events, settings, and integrations. As you can see, there's all sorts of cool things we can connect to our website, Meetup, Eventbrite, Zoom, Facebook, even YouTube. Today, we're going to be talking about WebEx. So as you can see, I already have a couple accounts added here. I wanted to just let you know that you can have more than one WebEx account connected to your WordPress website. But I'm going to go ahead and go through the process of connecting one so you can see how that goes. First, of course, we'll click Add WebEx Account. And then we're going to type in the address that we used when we signed up for the account at WebEx. And ask us for a password. We'll click Accept. And it should do everything for us. Just like that, we now have another WebEx account added to our website. From here, we can easily disable it and re-enable it. We can also just delete it by clicking a trash can. And sometimes if something's not working correctly, we'll ask you to come in here and click this refresh token button right there. And sometimes that'll fix any sort of errors that happen. You just have to put in your information again. And a lot of times that'll fix uh, little issues that come up. So now that we've added our account to our website, let's go ahead and go to an event. I'm just going to start from scratch with a brand new event. And we'll call this WebEx test. Now we can choose our date for our event here something in the future, most likely. And then we'll scroll down all the way to where it says virtual event. So we're going to click configure virtual event and add video. I'm going to choose WebEx account and then I can choose which of the three accounts. And if I click next, what this is going to do is it's actually going to create an event in our WebEx account. So we didn't even have to go to WebEx. We just came to our website, clicked a couple buttons, and this is creating a WebEx meeting in our WebEx account, and it's going to connect it to this event. OK, so you can see there's the link and the password. Um, you can choose when that information will show and you can choose who it shows to. So maybe you only want it to show to logged in users. If you're using our event tickets plugin, you can choose to only show it to ticket holders. Um, you can choose to show it pretty much right away or you can wait until the event actually starts to display that information. Um, and you can choose if you want to include a link into the RSVP emails that people get when they sign up for the event. So pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and save this and go take a look at the front end. OK, so there's nothing showing up here because the event hasn't started yet. So if we go back to our event editor and we play around with a couple settings, I'm going to choose to show right away when the event is published. And I'm just going to choose to show it to everyone, even though I'm logged in. I would see it anyways. Now let's take a look. OK, so now we have the link, we have the password. The event hasn't started yet, so clicking watch, you know, I'd be the only one there. Um, but uh, you can see how, how easy it is to add this WebEx meeting to your event. Now there's another way I mentioned in the uh, intro. I mentioned there's two different ways to add a WebEx event. And you just saw the first way, which involves actually creating a brand new event that doesn't exist yet. But if you already have a meeting in your WebEx account that you want to add to an event, you can do that as well. OK, so the first thing you'll need to do is hop on over to your WebEx account where you've already created the meeting and copy the link to that meeting. And then we'll come back over to our website. And like we did before, I'm just going to go ahead and create a brand new event. I'm going to call this one existing WebEx meeting. And just like we did before, we'll come down to where it says configure virtual event. And instead of choosing WebEx account, this time I'm just going to choose search for video by URL. And I'm going to paste in the link to that meeting. And we do have to make sure to select the correct account. As you can see, it's telling me this WebEx meeting could not be found in the selected account because I didn't create it in this account. I created it in this account. So let's try again. There it is. This meeting is manually connected. Um, 
similar as before, we have the link, we have the password, we can choose when it displays and to whom it displays. And we could click publish and have an event with a WebEx meeting in it, just like before. So uh, pretty, pretty cool new little feature here for adding uh, meetings to your events. Um, like I said before, we already had Zoom. Now we have WebEx. Um, there's lots of different ways that you can connect with your customers uh, using the events calendar on a WordPress website. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. Uh, don't forget that we have many other awesome add-ons besides just virtual events. So hop on over to theeventscalendar.com and go to the products tab and see all the other different options we have that really just help you make your WordPress calendar uh, as awesome as possible and allows you to connect with your customers in lots of different ways. So uh, once again, thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.